So I'm French. I did my study at EPFL in Switzerland, and then I did some research at Stanford on compilers. I joined like a big tech company, uh, Palantir, for two years, uh, learned about dev tools there, became head of engineering of a small startup called Infair. So after two years and a half, I kind of like had the, the itch to build Windmill. I saw, I, I felt the need for myself to have such solution. Um, I started that uh, six months solo founder, uh, completely bootstrapped on my own. I applied uh, to YC, not thinking I had a chance, especially being a solo founder. And somehow I got in and uh, three months later, uh, I was uh, well prepared for uh, by YC to do our fundraise and everything, uh, which uh, yeah went well. And then I I assembled the team and we're now close to do our 1.0 or 2.0 launch because the product, which is very ambitious, is now basically uh, good enough for our production system. So it's a very exciting time for us. It does a lot of things. Um, so sharing scripts, uh, workflows and ETLs. Um, so if for people that know Airflow or Temporal, this is what we do. And the last is to build UIs for uh, admin panels, dashboards. So basically everything uh, to build your own internal tools. There's like a free open source edition that you can do however you want and that we're never going to put any arbitrary restrictions. So we have like a hosted solution for small teams, a hosted solution for uh, enterprise and a self-hosted license for enterprise. So like the team plan is 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 pretty cheap. Uh, it's like ten dollar a month. And then enterprise are where we make most of our revenue. So we're five currently, and I think going from five to ten is going to be a huge milestone. I think the, us being like a small team give us a lot of flexibility. Flexibility that was really required uh, when we were building everything. Now we need to basically get uh, more signals from the market uh, to see if basically our team or the size of the team is a bottleneck. If that's the case, then we will scale. But I think preemptively scale is something that is very dangerous, especially in, in the troubled economy that we are in. And I rather have focus on like a few key people uh, that I can trust rather than just kind of like adding more and more people. You mentioned that you're a solo founder and on top of that, you bootstrap a uh, windmill in the beginning. So would you like to briefly uh, talk about this? Uh, first of all, yeah, I, I'm, I mean, the beautiful thing about being a software engineer is, is that you don't need anything else than a laptop and a internet connection to start building software. So you always are like, have a ton of reason not to try and not to kind of like, I don't know, you you have a job, you have like, uh, you don't feel confident uh, yourself enough, it's too hard, there's already competition, like so many reasons why not to start. And I think this is something like most people, it's really easy to start a company to, and like you don't need an army of people to actually like do the, 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 the part where you look like a legitimate company. And what you have to actually do is like build something that people want and build a great product. And as software engineers, we can try. Uh, will we succeed? I, I don't know, but you can try and you can try with just a laptop and internet connection and an idea here. So just do it. I think that would be like my advice. Uh, every morning I wake up, I know, you know what I'm doing and why I'm doing it for. I don't know if it's going to work out, but I think kind of like this is some, like the, 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 it's the kind of like adventure of my life. And I'm very grateful to be in this position. And I would really encourage people to kind of like try. And even if they have to give up after a year or not, but this is something you, you probably want to do once in your life. And it gives a lot of uh, uh, a sense of purpose, I, I think, which is very nice.